Welcome back to my channel, LR Retro. Today, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the prehistoric pickle arc. It's the chapter where Arachi Katsumi managed to knock down the prehistoric man pickle by using his full-powered mock punch. Do you think pickle can still win this match? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki volume collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside the Tokyo Dome. The primitive man Pickle is helplessly kneeling on the ground. For the first time in his life, Pickle felt this sensation. Not even 65 million years ago. He has never felt such intense pain in his stomach. This horrible sensation is tearing him apart. As if he tried to withstand the full speed swing of the tail of the T-Rex. He got hit on his chest with something weird. It wasn't a punch or those little flying pieces of metal. Something that was beyond comparison with anything he knew. Something that the creatures from the past never had. Katsumi then thinks. I knew it. Pickle, no matter how strong you are. You can't take the direct impact of the mock fist head on. But I learned something too. The side effect of using this devastating technique is that. My fist will be completely shattered. No creature has ever put Pickle on his knees in a fight before. Katsumi had to sacrifice one of his hands. The pride of the karate masters to achieve it. But this is not stopping him. His power is stronger than his pain. And suddenly, the intensity of the mock fist struck his body like a lightning. From all the karate techniques that he learned since he started, the mock fist is the only one that he mastered to perfection and its power improved his other techniques beyond belief. The strongest karate master in 500 years, only 21 years old, Arachi Katsumi's right on the top. Here is the style of a genius. The infusion of the Chinese martial arts and karate. The wisdom and technical theory that our predecessors build and crafted throughout time. Fighting arts are making immense progress. By the hand of a genius young master Arachi Katsumi. The spinning kick that he launches is greatly accelerated by numerous joints. That do not exist, but in his own imagination. It even supersedes the mock. The wall of sound. The sword hand that he launches. Is also greatly accelerated by the same mechanism. It supersedes the mock the speed of sound. Needless to say, its destructive power is beyond imagination. The prehistoric power does not stand much of a chance when faced against the mock. The crowd is really amazed shouting. Hell yeah. It's working. He took him down. He got him. It's happening. Baki. Could it be that? Katsumi has finally beaten the odds? However, the problem was. Yes, indeed. And the mock itself. Because Katsumi's foot and both hands are badly injured. Baki then questioned. Pickle did that by just standing and doing nothing at all? So basically, you can't knock him down. Look at Katsumi's fist. What the hell was Pickle eating in the past? How did he get titanium muscles? Then Dr. Payne interrupted. His injuries were not caused by the impact against Pickle's body. Mr. Payne? The damage was caused by the aerial wall. The sound barrier. The wall of the sound. The wall of the sound? For instance, an airplane that's accelerating precedes with naturally occurring air resistance. The resistance rises in direct proportion to the acceleration. And at the instant, when the speed exceeds 797 miles per hour, the plane bursts through the wall of air, known as sonic velocity. The phenomenon was known as the sonic boom. It can be observed with the naked eye. It has been studied thousands of times. And there are very good pictures of it. The only problem is on the load of the substance when it goes through the wall. There has been reports of numerous tragic cases. Even metal planes sometimes cannot stand the pressure. Dis. It looks like completely non-resistant air. But when his hands and feet exceed 767 miles per hour. It must have put an incredible amount of strain on them. I didn't know the speed of sound and the aerial wall were so terrifying. Commented by Takigawa. Sure, he got ahead on the fight, at the sacrifice of both hands and his left foot. But now. The beast is recovering fast, and he's ready to. Seize the offensive. It will be a furious counter-attack. The spectators then said. He's coming forward on his feet. What the hell. Pickle got hit at full power. Are the attacks doing any damage? Irrational. This is not making any sense. 
The one that unleashed the horrible attacks are on his knees. While the one that was rocked with such attacks is looking down on him. How could God bring such a monster into our time? I hate to say this, but, Katsumi's attacks were perfect. But he has exceeded his own limits. What happens now is, inevitable. Dr. Payne then added. Now you can see with your own eyes, gentlemen. The spirit of the warrior is very important. Don't get me wrong. You have proved that to me several times. But there's something that you guys still don't understand. Think about this. Do you know which ones were Pickle's rivals? The protobionts. They were his rivals. Despite the fact that you are very familiar with the clearly defined weight classes in wrestling rules. What you all fail to understand is the difference in weight we are witnessing right now. Let me give you an example. The biggest of the protobionts. Supersaurus. The largest of all known dinosaurs. Its length was about 140 feet, and it's supposed to weigh 33 tons. Which class would you put him in? How many times bigger is he than Katsumi? But no matter how big, the Supersaurus was eventually caught and eaten by a T-Rex. T-Rex's best weapons are his sword-like fangs. His tail is gigantic. And his rear legs are powerful. Although there are various speculations, nobody knows the real stats. One thing for certain. That no matter how hard he tries or how a 15-ton attack could not be weaker than Katsumi's 220-pound attack. Retsu Kaio then thinks. What? He's gonna do that? Oh no. Then Katsumi realized. It was perfect. I was right. I hit him better than expected. I know that. But because of that. Both my hands. And my foot are seriously mangled. Everyone. Why the long faces? You, Retsu. Your master too. What are you guys so worried about? I haven't even used it yet. I'm not done yet. Then Katsumi stands up. I was saving it for last. The only powerful mock fist that I have left. Kaku Kaio then shouted. This is enough. Don't do it. One more time, and you will. But Katsumi just whispered. Come on, buddy. Bring it. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Arachi Katsumi's strongest mock fist can finish Pickle for good? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujaber, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Sean. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Pickle's defeat against the strongest mock fist. Stay tuned.